I wonder how many of you have felt injustice when your boss or your supervisor has treated you, in your opinion, in a way that you don't deserve. You get annoyed perhaps, you get angry. Well this week I've got admittedly a very bizarre, but actually based on psychology, quite a practical way of overcoming that frustration when someone at work treats you in a way that you think is unfair. My name is Jonathan Bradshaw and welcome to this week's Meetology Minute. Yes, it's a very strange one this week, but it's based on mainstream psychological research um, undertaken by psychologists collaborating from the US and Canada. And it looked into how to overcome resentment when you've been treated badly by someone else at work. And the research suggested that we should do something, engage in something called symbolic retaliation. What that means is instead of going up to your boss and being angry and frustrated and, and having it out with the person concerned, symbolic retaliation is when you take something that represents that person and damage it in some way. They talked about voodoo dolls actually, but as the researchers, the psychologists suggest, it doesn't have to be a voodoo doll sticking uh, pins in. Actually, it says having a picture of your boss or the person concerned on a dartboard and throwing darts at it is equally as useful. I know this sounds a bit of fun, but it is backed up by mainstream research. And if it can overcome annoyance and frustration and anger and conflict in the workplace, then fantastic. So the idea is if you can create something that represents the person that you're annoyed with and do something to it, scream it, physically abuse it, it's fine because you're, not, you're doing it in the privacy of your office or at home or whatever. It can be a good thing for you. And that's what matters here, how you are reacting. So a bit of fun this week. Instead of going to the person who you feel disrespected by, who's annoyed you and you've got resentment towards directly, try and find something that represents them and have it out with the inanimate object rather than the person themselves. A bit of fun this week, practically useful. The link to the research, if you want to look through it in more detail, will be on the website. And I'll be back in a week's time with some more meatology, exploring the fascinating psychology powering exceptional people skills. See you in a week's time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.